Hi, this is Rahim Julfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. And in this video, we will learn one awesome trick about Excel charting that is related to a column chart with a background image. And today is 25th December 2020. So on this day, Pakistan's founding father, the great Qaeda's Muhammad Ali Jinnah was born. So I will be adding an image of uh, Qaeda Azam on this chart and uh, this this technique can be useful uh, when you make uh, dashboards or any other kind of visualized reports so you can apply this kind of uh, awesome technique in your reports. So today Qaeda Azam marks his 144th birthday anniversary and to make uh, and present a tribute so I am trying my best to provide a knowledge with the community so that they can uh, learn this uh, awesome technique of Excel chart so let's get start uh, I have a data here we have some areas in Karachi just like Garden East DHA Clifton Nazmabad so I have put some names here and uh, the second column represents the number of population so it's it's a random numbers just to have all those numbers in the charts we have no, no concern about the real time population figures and there is one more a column which uh, says about difference to ex ex maximum axis so we will mark our vertical axis y axis to 1400 so we have created this a uh, small formula that this 1400 number which will be the maximum axis for the vertical axis is minus with with a population number so it, it could be any number I have just uh, marked as 1400 it could be 1500 1600 as per your requirement right and you will get get to know that why we have created this third column later on in this video as well so let's get start uh, I will select these two columns which is the areas in Karachi in population and I will go to insert tab definitely for selecting the appropriate chart so I will click on column chart and I will select this stack column uh, don't select this first type which is the clustered column select this stack column type and just click on it so you will get a co stack column chart on your spreadsheet right you can resize it as you like as you want right now you can see that you have this uh, vertical axis uh, already falling on maximum to the 1400 and we have some areas and according to that uh, there are some visualizations now let's come to the next part now the next part would be that we will select this area and I will right click on it this is the plot area and uh, I will click on plot area so on the right side you will see a navigation pane a menu of format plot area so here you have to click on this bucket first and uh, if, if you have this a menu just like fill and border so do expand this menu where you will find in the fill category you will find picture or texture fill just click on it when you click on it so you can see that by default because before this video I have practiced so I have used this image so this is the default image stick to it so I have to change the image so I will click on this picture source and I will click on insert now this Excel gives me a lot of uh, options available here to get the picture either from my local hard drive from a file from stock images either I can go online and download and or I can also Im insert a picture from the icons so I will prefer I have an image or in, in my local hard drive all right so now you can see that I have locate a folder and uh, let me pick uh, this picture so I will definitely just click on insert okay now you can see that uh, there is there is an image of Qaedaism and Pakistan flag uh, with also these these blue bars now next part is what I need to do is I need to also add this uh, difference to axis max column as well onto this chart so for doing that I will right click from this contextual menu I will click on select data and from this window here I will click on add button so I need to add one more access so the title would be 
difference to axis max and the series values range is starting from D7 to D14 right so now you can see that uh, there are blue bars and, and the orange bar as well now what I need to do is another thing is that uh, I will right click on these bars from this contextual menu I will click on format data series and I will make this gap width to the 0% so that uh, these bars will be visible and this picture will be hide basically this picture is being overlapped so I have reduced or removed the gap with to the zero percent basically so now this picture is available but because of zero gap width you can also only see the uh, bars of blue and orange of these columns right now as you can observe one more thing is that your vertical axis is to the 1600 and we have uh, set this we need to set this to the 1400 max so that this area of of the picture is also being seen here so if we uh, mark this axis to the 1400 so this will also be not visible on this chart as well so it's very easy just right click on vertical axis from this contextual menu click on the last option that is called format axis and here in the maximum instead of 1600 i will write 1400 and press enter key so now you can see that this picture is still available there but uh, we can only see the uh, numbers or or the visualization as per stack column chart and also you you have got the idea that why we don't have selected this uh, clustered column instead of uh, stack column right because stack column definitely gives us a view of two different ranges onto one together on one single uh, line or the volume all right so now the next part would be uh, for, for these uh, ranges of orange color ranges you can change the color if you would like to so I will just right click on it and from the format data series I will click on this bucket and uh, I will click on solid fill and let's say I need a gray color and then for the blue bars what we need to do is we need to click on no fill so so when we click on no fill because behind there was a picture now the picture is visible and you can also make borders as well right so now this is how uh, we have created very quickly a column chart with a background image and as soon as you change the numbers from here within the data for example if I uh, reduce the number of DHA from 1200 to 600 now you can see that uh, a difference here right so this is very cool and awesome technique in order to create these kind of uh, charts uh, which has a picture uh, coming in within the uh, columns of all those volumes and and it looks very good and appealing as well so you can use it in your dashboards or any other kind of visualization reports as well right so thank you so much i hope you like this technique and you will do apply in your routine work thank you